Francis, thank you for tuning in. And this is our last clutch of the year, Ball Python Recessive Clown Clutch. So we're very excited about that. And I can't wait to see what's going on in these eggs. So the pairing was an etchy clown female to a black pastel spot nose head clown male. This guy has just been a very stunner to all the females that we've been having. So I'm very happy with him. And I want to show you what's going on in these eggs and what they are. And I'm so excited. I want to see the genders as well. So let's get to it. Thank you for watching. We hit four clowns out of eight eggs. Those are wonderful odds. Now let's see if we hit some good odds on the genders. Because, you know, the odd gods with the genders always don't play any favors. So I hope I hit at least two clowns that are females. I might have to keep one of the females. And I'm hoping it will be the black pastel spot nose clown. Right now I'm like bathing them, rinsing them out because they're just like coming out of the egg. I want the nasty slime off of them. They look really beautiful. Especially that one. Woo! Fire. We had some nice combinations. So I'm very content with this clutch. Now let's get down to the pairing and the genders. Let's see what's going on. And I'm crossing my finger for any female clowns. <laughs> let's begin with the non-visual clowns first because I'm excited about that as well because they're 100% clowns. I'm just happy because we could get Alelic genes into the morph and I don't have to like make like any kind of normals and that's exciting. What I mean by allelic for people that don't know is a pair of alleles that occupy like a specific chromosome that controls the same trait. It creates something like a super form like with an incomplete dominant but it's not a super form. It's just something that's very similar traits that creates a different kind of color morph that you wouldn't normally see in the wild. And that's what allelic genes does. It's like, it's just like a designer morph. Let's jump into it and find out what are these snakes genders. We're gonna start with, let me see, a spot nose entry. Just look how pretty that is. For those that don't know the entry, the entry usually has like these nice patterns towards the head right here they jump up high and the spot nose has a nice stamping on the head and they usually have like a highlight down the dorsal and the entry likes to band the alien heads and sometimes it breaks them apart this is a lot of banding so I know this for sure is a spot nose entry so let's see what this beautiful snake is I'm trying to get it as close as possible i'm like so shaky because i'm like excited i just can't like wait to find out so i'm gonna pop them and see what they are let's shake wow already already we started with a female that's a great start especially spot nose and she 100% head clown that's gonna be a crazy combination because Enchi spot nose clowns they look beautiful look at that such a beautiful animal this one's also beautiful I believe it is an Enchi just a regular Enchi 100% head clown I could be wrong, it could be a Blanche, whatever they call it, a black pastel Enchi, but I don't really see it in the patterns, especially 
and the band and like the blanchy the bandings like they stretch out like further and they will have like a little dotting but i don't see any of them like really stretched out like the black pastel does and a different coloration but i could be wrong i could wait for like one more shed but to me i believe is an enchi a regular enchi comment down the section below and tell me what you think so let's get ready let's try to see what gender this animal is relax I'm not gonna hurt you we got a male so we are one for one that's awesome either way is a hundred percent hit clown so an enchi you can see what it does it does something crazy so if you want to work with the enchi with the clown you'll definitely not get disappointed in how it looks okay so what we're gonna do next because i think the non-visual kinds we have like two of two they're like two of the same because i have another one of the enchi spot nose so we have two of them this one has a little more coloration on the sides it's like like an orangey brown still a beautiful animal all right let's check the sexing on this guy this or girl let's see what gender it is so the other one was a female i believe wow we got two females of these that's awesome really awesome so, a spot nose, Enchi, 100% head clown. Wow, two females. Now that is incredible. So far, the gender is on our side, especially with the combinations that we could possibly hit in the future, or she might be up for grab, because I don't need two of them. We'll see. We'll check that animal out. So beautiful. So we're down to the last non-visual clown. Like I said, I think the non-visual clowns, I have like two of the same of each of the Enchi spot nose head clown and Enchi head clown. Because I don't really see any black pastel into this at all either. But, you know, I'm going to let them shed out. So I could see exactly how their color is going to turn out. I could be wrong or I could be right. But I believe, well, I'm like 99% sure this is just a regular Enchi. But I could be wrong. Like I said, have like a comment below. Tell me what you think. But I believe this is a regular Enchi. And is 100% head clown. Because the mother of these offsprings was an Enchi clown. All right, let's get to the gender. Let's see what this is. Let's see what gender this one is. This is a male. So right now, we are two for two. We have two spot nose Enchi head clown females one enchi head clown male and one female that's awesome so we're two for two for right now let's go on to the visuals now i'm really excited about this so we're gonna start off of course if you see this beauty if you've seen in my reels on instagram what was in the egg it was this little beauty look how pretty that is and look how clean that is just look at this animal. It's crazy. It looks like it has a little ghost on its head, like a little body. You see the head right here and two arms and a ghost body? That's so cool. I love how the Enchi Clown looks. It's, it cleans up a lot of it. And they age really well because I have an adult one. The mom is also the Enchi Clown. It came out like her mommy but look at this animal 
It's remarkable. I can never get tired of looking at them. Look how beautiful that is. The camera just not, it just doesn't do its justice catch it, capturing this animal's vibrant colors. It's crazy. All right, so let's get down to the gender. Let's see what she is. Wow, she's like the mom. She's a female. So, we have a female on our hands. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this because I already have one. She might be up for grabs in the future. So, keep definitely on the lookout because this is a definitely animal to work with. Whatever combinations you wanna put, any kind of other recessives or any other clown combos, with heterozygous clowns, you're gonna hit beauties. Cause these animals are freaking amazing. This one, I'm for certain, 100% certain that this is a black pastel Enchi clown, AKA the Blanche clown. That is a beautiful, beautiful snake. This one, if he had offsprings in the future, none of them will come out normal because he's also a Lilik, which is the black pastel and Enchi are a Lilik to each other. So that is exciting to work with. Uh, I don't care if it's a male or female, it's gonna stay here because this combo, I love the black pastel combos. I'm into black pastel a lot, as you can see. I just love what it does to all the combos, especially when you mix it up with darker animals. They just look beautiful. I'm moving towards the dark side. <laughs> all right, so the reason why I think, well, I know is because the black pastel loves to stretch out the alien heads and it's formed with these teardrops but the stretch you can see the dotting a lot of dotting and the alien heads are really like stretched out and the cup the just putting it next to the regular entry you can tell the difference i just love what it does look how beautiful that is all right, so let's see what gender this one is. Whether whatever gender it is is gonna stay here. So, he's a male. It's a male. Okay, so, so far, we have three males, three females. <laughs> I had to check in my bin, I'm sorry. But look at this, I'm just, it's crazy. So we are down to the two black pastel spot nose clowns that I possibly think that one of them could be the all gene animal, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below. Let me see what you think and maybe that could help. But I feel like on one of them, I did that's just me. I'm not sure. I gotta wait for them to like hatch. I mean, not hatch, I'm sorry. I gotta wait for them to shed at least like one time or a second if I need it. But I'm for sure these are black pastel spot nose because I hit this la uh, this summer that just passed. So let's jump into it and see what these two are. So now we're three for three. We have three females and three males. Let's do this one since he's already in front of the camera. But don't be scared. I'm not gonna hurt you. Look at this animal. I'm gonna say it is the all gene animal. I, I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't really see Enchi in here, but I could be possibly wrong. Or I could be right, but this is a black pastel spot nose, possibly Enchi clown. This is a black pastel spot nose clown. 
Look how beautiful they are. Just look how the contrast is on this animal. I love how Spot Nose works with the clown. It's always beautiful to work with. Just look how remarkable that looks. So crazy. All right, so let's check the gender on this guy or girl. Keep saying that when I don't even know. Okay, it's another male. So now we're four for three. So four males and three females. Man, I just hope that the other one is a female. That would be really awesome. But wow, look at this animal. So crazy. You cannot be mad at that. Look at that combination. Again, it tried close as, the close I can, so you can see it a lot better. And their eyes, it's so crazy. It's like metallic blue, blue green. So beautiful. All right, now we're down to the last, last beauty. The black pastel spot nose clown. So, so, so beautiful. Woo. Look at them, just look at that. When you, when you have a couple sheds from these guys, oh my God, they look crazy insane. This does not do the justice, but they look phenomenally crazy when they have like shed a couple more times or just the one time, but the couple times after that, it just looks crazier. The oranges from the black pastel coloring starts to pop more. It's crazy. I will show updates. I just hope that this one is a female. So I'm crossing my fingers, please. Because this one would stay, definitely. All right, so let's see what this gender is from this snake. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that gift. Thank you for the gift. That's what happens sometimes when you do the genders reveals. They like to do that. They give you surprises. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm sorry I yelled that. Oh, man. Yes. Yes. I'm so excited. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. I'm sorry, I'm just really excited. I'm, I'm so excited that I, I'm like shaking right now. I have a black pastel spot nose clown and she, of course, is a female. Yes. Oh, this is amazing, amazing, amazing clutch. An amazing clutch of the year, especially finishing off the year this way. Oh, God has blessed me. Oh, I've been hitting so many males and now I have one female visual combo clown. Wow, I don't, words cannot describe the way I feel right now. I don't want to sound like a wuss. I feel like crying because, you know, I've been waiting for so long on this project. This project took me at least almost four years to get to this point. Especially with this combination. So I was waiting on the, the mother. She was a little slow grower. So it took her about three years. For her to be the right size of grams. She was around 1900 grams. It took her three years to get there. Look at that. And that's it. This is how we're going to. Leave it there. She's words, words cannot express how I feel and how passionate I feel about my animals and how I take care of them. It's just so fun to do this. You know, it's really fun to create something that you thought of and you see it in your hands and you have it. There's nothing more better than that. Thank you for watching. So that's how it went. It went crazy. I'm sorry. I'm still like shaking 
that I hit those kind of odds for females, for males, great combos. It's a good end of the year clutch. I'm just really, really excited that I hit that. And it was just mind blowing. And maybe in the, in the future or whenever they shed, I'll show you an update of them just to show you an update and see how they came out so I can determine what's what really. And I'm like a little tricked by the Enchi, Black Pastel Possible, Enchi, just an Enchi. I'm sorry, that sounds confusing, but I gotta wait for it to shed. But to me, it looks like an, a regular Enchi. And then another hand, it looks like a Black Pastel Enchi. So I gotta really party, pull some strings, help some friends, or comment down below what you think, tell me. I like to interact, I like to talk about reptiles. I'm into that kind of stuff. But thank you for watching and thank you for the views. I wish everyone a happy holiday and a happy new year. And I wish all the breeders a successful breeding year for the next year. Thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in. If you want to see more egg cutting, we have more egg cutting videos in our playlist for uh, snake ball python egg cutting. And we have videos for beta dragons. I'm going to do more videos for beta dragons in the future. So stay tuned for that. Bear with me. I know it's like getting a little slow with that, but I'm one person and I'm trying to do my best to please all of you. And thank you again and have a happy new year. Thank you for tuning in. I'm grateful. See you on the next one.